So welcome to your STARS unit. I want to give you a brief overview on uh, the lesson itself and talk to you a little bit about how the lesson came about. So um, I have lunch every day with my earth science buddies. So Mr. Marslack, Mr. Hannett, Ms. Thumser, Mr. Linton, and Ms. Vance. We have lunch regularly. And we were talking the other day about, well, this was a while ago, but we were talking about different things that I could be doing um, to help them. And they thought it'd be a great idea if you created some lessons for them that they could use in their classrooms because for them we've been teaching this stuff for a long time and we go to school to learn how you guys like to learn but you're the experts on how to learn right so the idea is you guys are going to create lessons for either on the star life cycle or the HR diagram. It's your choice. You have to learn about both of them, but you only have to create a lesson for one of them. And then you're going to create a lesson that the students are going to be learning what they need to know for their earth science SOL on stars. So you're going to need to know more than they do. So you are going to go through the unit and learn as if you're an astronomy student, but then you'll take your information and you'll make it easy for kids who are in 10th grade or 9th grade to be able to learn it and do well on their, their test. So in general, what this unit is, is you're going to be learning how to do these things. So you'll know how to identify star, how star forms, how stars die, um, how different types of stars form, and then the differences between certain properties of stars and talk about an HR diagram, which you've already been exposed to in earth science. And now you're going to learn it in better detail. Um, your lesson, the one lesson you create has to be 90 minutes long and it needs to have an introduction or warm up, some kind of hook, something to get them interested in the assignment. Um, you need to have a way to deliver the material, so maybe a lecture and a video or maybe um, a video and um, some kind of reading they do, some way that they learn the information. Then an activity for them to do, whether it be like a crossword puzzle or a worksheet or or something to help them, maybe they're making a puzzle, um, something that'll help them create a better understanding of what they've learned, and then you need to give them a 10 question quiz. So that's what you need to have in the assignment. One thing that'll help you uh, with the assignment that you also have to create is a graphic. So it'll either be a graphic on the star life cycle or on the HR diagram. And with those, it has to be original. You're going to use Google Draw. There's uh, tutorials across the unit showing you how to use Google Draw and all the different tools that you'll be using. So let me talk to you a little bit about the tools you'll be using because you are working in groups. And for the most part, these are the groups that you chose. I had to make a few edits and additions and things like that. But for the most part, you know who you're working with. Um, you are going to, for each lesson, you have your way of learning. So you get to choose how you're going to learn the material. If you want to do nothing but watch videos about the star life cycle to learn about the star life cycle, and you can get 100 on the quiz by doing just that, you're welcome to do that. Um, but there's four different ways you can learn. You can look at the notes. I recommend you look at the notes all the time anyways, but you can look at the notes no matter what. I recommend. You can watch the videos. There's different readings for you, and then there's different simulations for these things for you to look at. So you choose how to do it. The next thing you'll do usually is a gizmo. So you're familiar with gizmos. We've done them in the past. You are going to be doing one on the HR diagram and one on uh, the star life cycle. So those are the gizmos you'll be doing. You will also then be doing something called a voice thread. A voice thread is a way for you to discuss what you've learned um, in a digital environment. And you'll it, it's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of like a PowerPoint with talking and adding things on. But when you take a look at voice thread, it's a, it's a really good collaborative tool for you to explain what you've learned and then to help see what other people have learned and see maybe they understand something in a way you didn't. You'll also be taking your quiz, so you're familiar with quizzes and how to do those. Um, this You'll have something here, it'll say take the quiz. On the HR diagram and star life cycle quizzes, you do have to get 100%. So if you get two, 
two chances to do it. If you don't do it in those two chances, you'll come talk to me and we'll figure out where your, your difficulty learning is, or maybe it was a difficulty with the questions, but we'll figure it out. Then you have your face-to-face -face meetings. So you'll be meeting with your groups face-to-face -face in the computer lab, trying to figure out who's going to be doing what part of the lesson, what needs to be done, and things like that. You're going to be using something called Padlet to keep everything organized. So this is like a bulletin board. So um, right now, one of the tasks that I put up here is to make the HR diagram graphic and to create the objectives. So those are things that have to be done. So um, let's say I think of something new that needs to be done, and that is smile. Okay, that's something else that needs to be done. So I'll write smile and say must smile. And that's what needs to be done. And then your partners will be able to go in and edit and you'll be able to see, okay, this has been done, this has been done. Oh, smiling's been done, see? So I smiled, so now I can delete it from the bulletin board. It doesn't need to be done anymore. And I can come in at any time and say, I see what they need to do. So you'll have that. Then you have your collaborative documents. Your collaborative documents are going to be Word documents. Or, I'm sorry, they're, um, they're different, um, Google Docs, there we go. Uh, one of them is a graphic organizer that you are not required to do, but boy, will it help you if you do it. This will really make it easy for you if you choose to, to use that. The other one is the lesson plan template, and this has to be created. So this is the lesson plan document that you're going to be giving to Ms. Thumbs or Mr. Marslack, Mr. Hannett, whoever it is that's going to be teaching your lesson. Um, so they're going to be taking a look at this, so you need to have that. Um, you're also going to be using Google Draw. So Google Draw is um, a program in Google. There's a video here down here that shows you how to create a Google Draw. It's very, very easy, so you won't have any problems with that. And then finally, you will be um, participating in a um, discussion board. The discussion board is basically you checking in, how is it going, what is it that you need to do, um, what do your group members still need to do, and what suggestions you have that I can do to help you. So that's what your discussion board will be. That's basically it. So it's not, you're not creating, you know, this huge web page. You're working with your group a lot more than you did in the previous uh, online unit. I think you'll enjoy this one. And always let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here for you. And uh, I think that's about it. So go create.